ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯ ವರ್ಗ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ತಾಂ ಸದಾ ಹೃತಿ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸರಂಗ ಪರಕಾಲ ಮುನಿತ್ರೆ ಆಪ್ತ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಾತ್ಮರಕ್ಷಣ ಇತ್ಯ ಯೋಗಾಗಮಾಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪರಿಭೂತ ಮನರ್ಗಶೀಲ ಗೋಪಾಲ ದೇಸಿಗ ಮುನಿ ಗುರುಮಾಶ್ರಯಾಮ ವ್ಯಾಸಾ ವಿಷ್ಣು ವ್ಯಾಸೂಪಾ ವಿಷ್ಣವೆ ನಮೋ ವೈ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿಧೇ ವಾಸಿಷ್ಠಾ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ವಶಿಷ್ಠನಪ್ತಾರ ಶಕ್ತೇ ಪೌತ್ರಮಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ಪರಾಶರಾತ್ಮಜ ವಂದೇ ಸುಖತಾಥಂ ತಪೋ ನಿಧಿ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಈಸ್ ವೇದ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ವಶಿಷ್ಠನಪ್ತಾರ ಶಕ್ತೇ ಪೌತ್ರಮಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ಪರಾಶರಾತ್ಮಜ ವಂದೇ ಸುಖತಾಥಂ ತಪೋ ನಿಧಿ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಸುಖಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಶುಕಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ನ್ಯಾರೇಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಟು ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪರೀಕ್ಷಿತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸುಖಾಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇದ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಅಂಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಸಾಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಪರಾಸರ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಆದರ್ಡ್ ಹೂ ನ್ಯಾರೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣಂ ಟು ಸೇಜ್ ಮೈತ್ರೇಯ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಡ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೇಜ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣಂ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪುರಾಣ ರತ್ನ ದ ಜೆಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಪುರಾಣ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪರಾಸರಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಈಸ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಸೇಜ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಹೂ ಆಸ್ ದ ಕುಲ ಗುರು ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈಯರ್ ಎಂಟೈಯರ್ ರಘುಕುಲ ದಶರಥ ಹಿಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾದರ್ಸ್ ದಶರಥ ಸನ್ ರಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಲವಕುಶ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಸೇಜ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಕುಲ ಗುರು ಸಚ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ವೇದ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಹೂ ರೋಟ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಕಸ್ನಾಮ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ವರ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುಧಿಷ್ಠಿರ ಆಸ್ narrated by composed by compiled by veda vyasa so today 18th shlokam vedyo vaidya sadha yogi viraha madhavo maduhu atindriyo mahamayo maho saho mahabalaha such a beautiful shlokam it has lot of lot of weight artams essence in it so we will try to do some justice to the meanings vedo vedyo vaidya sada yogi vedyo vedyo means the one who can be realized he who can be realized who can be understood vaidya vedyo vaidya the knower of vidya the no know, the knower of knowledge he is the knower he is the one who knows the jnana right jnana just now we saw hayagriva stotram he is the personification of jnana jnana ananda mayam devam similarly he is the vaidya the knower of vidya vedyo vaidya sada yogi one who is in constant yogic yogic awareness he is always awake he appears to be sleeping on the adi session he is not like us he is having arituyil means arigindra tuyil he knows everything he is sarvajnan he he understands he knows he can see everything even with his eyes closed so he who is wide, ever wide awake thus bhagavan is ever awake with reference to the devotees he who is awake when all of us are in slumber ajnana we are all sleeping we do not know what is what is the actual actual truth we are running amok behind the the material worldly pleasures pursuits which are transitory which are transient which are fleeting all of us be included so sada yogi viraha madavo madhu veera he is veera he is the veeran warrior valorous the slayer of the people with wicked nature the slayer of asuras the slayer of wicked madhava the propounder of the knowledge madhava mean the propounder the propagator of the knowledge of the supreme he is the one he is the prime acharya he is the jagadacharyan he is the first among all acharyas 
He is the one who taught Brahma. He is the one who taught Mahalakshmi and Vishwaksena and others. He is the one who taught through Brahma to Narada and others. He is the one who, who gave, initiated others, Rudra, Shiva, others, the other four rishis, just now we saw. So, propounder of the knowledge of the Supreme, Madhava, Madhu, he is Madhu. You know what is Madhu? Madhu is honey. And he, he is like a honey to his devotees. So, that is why Madhurashtakam. There is a there is a eight sloka called Madhurashtakam. He is sweet like honey. He is so sweet to those who attained knowledge about Supreme. So he is the Madhu and Atindriyo Mahamayo Mahotsaho Mahabalaha. Atindriyo. Ati Indriya means the sense organ. He is Atindriyo. He is beyond the sense organ beyond the range of sense organ, beyond the perception of the sense organ. He cannot be seen, he cannot be heard, he cannot be contemplated, he cannot be smelt. He cannot, he, we cannot do justice by talking about him. He cannot be touched. So our five sense organs fail because whatever that we do with the five sense organs, whatever that we can, are all are all finite are all diminishing perishing whatever that you can see is going to go one day whatever that we can hear is will be finished after few years whatever that we touch would go away another day including our body so whatever that can be measured understood perceived by the tools that we possess are all finite, but he is infinite. That is why Upanishad says, Yato vacho nivartante apra apyamanasa saha. The word and the mind cannot reach him. The word cannot reach him, but the mind also cannot reach him. Yes. Even the mind cannot comprehend him. So he is Atindriyaha, he who is beyond the range of sense organs. And Maha Maya, he is he possesses the wonderful power of enchantment. He is possessed of wonderful nature, mystery. He is most wonderful, Ascharya Bhutan. He is Ma Mayan Madhavan. Andal says in Tirupavai, Ma Mayan Madhavan. He is see, he took birth as Lord Krishna little baby born in prison to Devaki and Vasudeva both were having chains they were imprisoned in a prison they were they were uh, given they were tied down by shackles iron chains to their hands and the legs but the moment Krishna was born the shackles broke the gatekeepers the watchmen the security who were who were at the entrance of the prison, they all slept. The prison door opened and, and the baby spoke. He appeared in the Sankha Chakra, the baby, and then he spoke to the father, carry me to the Nanda Gopas palace. There is one more child there, bring her here. So, he is Ascharya Bhutan, how is it possible? Because he is possessed of the wonderful power of Ascharya, Maha Maya. This does not mean illusion, Maya. He is, he is Ascharya, mysterious, wonderful. Mahot Saha, he is, he is never dull. He is never lazy. He is never lethargic. He is never sleepy. He is never tired. Maha Utsaha. He is always with great yentu, zeal. He, is, he always shines with enthusiasm. The name gives the quality of lordship in Bhagavan. So he is always, he is never lethargic. He is never indifferent. He is always enthusiastic. Maho Utsaham. 
because he he has to he has to enchant he has to take us to his abode maha balaha he who is having immeasurable strength maha balam strength which distinguishes him from others who are always in need of others assistance whereas he does not need those assistance maha balaha we will start from the last maha balaha means the strength we will describe a little bit about so there is the, the lord bhagavan it is called bhagavan bhaga means the one who has got six qualities jnanam balam aishwaryam viryam shakti tejas six qualities six attributes the vamana purana mentions this the vishnu purana describes this bhagavan is the repository abode of all six qualities the vishnu purana mentions that it is jnanam knowledge shakti power bala strength maha balaha strength aishwarya the the wealth the lordship he is the sarveshwaran what other aishwarya he needs he is a sarveshwaran he is virya energy full of energy full of enthusiasm tejas full of splendor effulgence tejas he is equivalent to the 1 million sun he shines like that effulgence so these are the principal attributes for the word bhagavan bhagavan is the one who is endowed with these six qualities says sage parasara in vishnu purana so here says jnana bala jnana shakti bala ishwarya virya tejas tayetatah bhagavat shabda vachyani vina heyer gunai gunai bibihi so gunadibihi so there is no imperfection there is no defect in him so jnana he is the omniscient he knows everything quality to know everything and shakti he is power powerful omnipotent balaha strength so he supports without any effort everything in the universe both all the jeevatmas as well as all the matter the mountains the oceans the universe the anda and akilanda koti brahmanda nayakan here there are millions of such universes there and he holds them he supports them without any extra extra assistance it is important attribute because he should be able to hold all the created entities such as heaven planets physical universe in their respective positions so bhagada bhagada aranya ka upanishad says brahman is the causeway that supports all and to support keep apart the different worlds bhagavad gita and vishnu purana vouch reinforce the same aishwarya he is the lordship so to understand this jnana bala aishwarya virya shakti tejas just to give you one one example swami shrimad aishingar 45th uh, patam he used to say that assume that some some rich man has got lot of wealth and when suppose that he is sleeping when he sleeps he would not know how much wealth he is he has definitely he would be just like us sleeping peacefully without knowing anything what does he have how many acres he has how many houses he has how many cars he has he won't know assume that he is gifted to know assume even if he is gifted to know that how much property he has cars he has wealth he has dollars he has but even if he knows he will not be supporting those those boxes those chains those golden chains jewelry dollars while he is sleeping he won't be supporting definitely it will it will fall off his hand even if he support but assume that he is gifted to even support assume that he has been blessed even if he support he will not be directing suppose there are 10 people 
working under him. He will not be directing those ten people in the sleep at all times. He would not be able to. It's not possible. Okay. Assume that he, he also has that power. If he, if he is sleeping and he is still directing, if he is still holding, he would get tired because he is not having a peaceful, good, deep sleep. He would get tired if he keeps on holding what he has, the, the jewelry or the dollars, whatever. And even assume that he is not tired, there should be somebody to give him such money, extra person to do his business, to look after his operations, to recruit his people, to look after the garden. So, our Lord, Sriman Narayana, does not need any of them. He does not need sleep. He need not sleep. He need not have any extra power to support. He need not ask somebody else to direct. He can direct, he can control, he can, he can hold, he can support, he would never ever get tired and he does not need any auxiliary power to help him. And that is Mahabala, Bahot Saha, he is always effulgent. He is Mahamayan, he is mysterious, he is so wonderful, he is so sweet, he is such a honey. So, he is the propounder of the knowledge of the Supreme Being. He is the one who is supreme. He is always aware of everything that is undergoing. He is the knowledge. He is the knower of Vidya. He is the supreme. He is the one who can be realized. He is the one who grants us moksha. So, there is a small uh, story, anecdote, which I will just say and conclude this. There was one uh, person, uh, Acharya by name Parasara, Parasara Butter, not Sage Parasara. This person, this child was named after Sage Parasara as Parasara Butta. And he was the son of Kuratayvan, Kuresha. And he was also the Shishya of Ramanuja. He, was, he lived in the, in the age of Ramanuja. And this Parasara Butta, became a good Vedantic learned scholar and he used to teach very many disciples the Vedantas, the Brahma Sutra he is the one who wrote commentary on our Vishnu, Pura, Vishnu Sagasranama the one which we are enjoying it is called Bhagavad Guna Darpana Darpana means mirror the mirror that reflects the Bhagavan's attributes Kalyana Gunams his qualities, his names, his forms so that's what we are enjoying the each name from Parasara Bhatta and Adi Shankara's meanings. So this Parasara Bhatta used to teach every day in his house. There is a thin line, there is a, there is a small cement uh, pedestal in which he would sit and all the disciples would sit on the floor. They would be learning from him and it's facing the road, his house. So he would sit in the entrance of the house because it is so airy. He would teach. And that time one Vedantic scholar used to go to, to the temple. And when he goes, that Vedantic scholar used to pay Namaskaram to Parasarapetta. And Parasarapetta sometimes used to offer Namaskaram to that scholar. Sometimes he would ignore because he would be busy, immersed in teaching. He would not notice. But there is another person who, it's, who is not that learned, who is illiterate, who was illiterate, who, was, who had not learned formally under anyone. He was just taking care of his house, the cows, and used to go to the temple, and every day used to prostrate at the scholars, the Vedantis, so he was a pious, devoted Brahmin. So he used to go that way. And Parasara Bhattar used to stop his teaching and pay Namaskaram to that man who was not literate, who never knew any Jnanam, who never had any Anushtanam, but 
he was he was following his whatever the duty that was given to him he used to go to the temple sincerely religiously he used to pay namaskarams to the scholars to the elders to the parents so parasara bhatta used to pay namaskaram to him call him wish him he would go he would also wish back reciprocate his namaskaram this used to happen so one day the students got disciples got a doubt so they asked swami ji swami the one who learnt everything the scholar sometimes you miss telling namaskaram to him whereas this illiterate guy the simpleton who who acts like a stupid fellow who is who laughs at himself who smiles at himself he is a, he doesn't know and you wish him you pay namaskarams to him you greet him why parasara bhatta smiled tomorrow i will answer the next day came so that vedantic scholar walked so he he parasara bhatta stopped him swami ji yeah he came in i have a doubt parasara bhatta asked him what is the doubt he said in the in the upanishad in the veda vedantams sabrahma sasi vasendra sokchara paramaswarat it says brahma shiva hari the indra and it it says sometimes shiva sometimes indra sometimes this sometimes that sometimes agni sometimes surya there are it's confusing who is supreme lord who is the one who who is our ultimate who grants moksha moksha can be given by whom i am i am not able to understand parasara bhatta asked him he said adiyan also has the same doubt swami so if you know please tell me at that time so he said okay then you ask me go so he went out then after an hour the other guy came the usual fool foolish looking stupid looking illiterate he came so parasara bata stopped him hey hey come here i have a doubt so this guy was shocked because he doesn't know anything and this scholar the teacher is asking me he is immediately prostrated swami don't do apacharam i don't know anything no 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 just ask listen to the question okay tell me who is supreme god because the vedas and upanishad confuse who is who grants moksha tell me so that fellow was so enraged he was so angered he took a stone from the street and threw at parasara bhatta what's the point in teaching all these people if you don't even know that the inside sri rangnatha the lord of sri rangam is the supreme because he had unflinching unconditional vishwas the faith that my lord can save me the moment you have as you have a fraction of disbelief finished so he had such a maha vishwas he who can be realized vedyo vaidya sada yogi he who can be realized that he is supreme he who can be uttered by even the likes of rudra brahma indra in shrimad bhagavatam it says vishnu puranam it says vishnu sagasnavam it says valmiki ramayanam it says so everywhere it is uttered veda vyasa himself says satyam satyam puna satyam mudritya bujamuchyate veda shastram param nasti nadevam keshavat param veda there is no bigger shastram than veda there is no better grander lord than keshavan alodya sarva shastrani vichara cha punah punah idam ekam sunishpannam yeyo narayana sada i have i have done research again and again checked investigated in sakala shastra alodya sarva shastra veda vyasa says and everywhere i get to see only vicharya cha punah punah everywhere i get to see vicharam i when i do the research i see only narayana jayo narayana sada only narayana has to be contemplated 
So here, Vedyo Vaidya Sada Yogi. He is the one who is needs to be contemplated. He is the knower of Vidya. He who can be realized. Thank you. Danyosmi. Kavitarki Kasimhaya Kalyana Gunashalini Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Guravena Maha.